But stick with us. We got a great show for you. We got a uh, 22 minute film here, 23 on Dale Hollow Lake. Yes. With Dave Hughes catching smallmouth bass with Glenn and I stayed at Horse Creek Boat Dock with Jack Huddleston. Jack Huddleston. Treated us like a king up that way. But one of the finest lakes in the world, and I do believe the 18 inch legal length is working on that lake because you're not catching anything but quality smallmouth. But tonight we're going to be fishing a crazy head, Whirly B. Dale yes. Hollow Lake, Jack Huddleston's horse. How come you're fishing him? We hadn't even got a we hadn't even got a pole ready. That's what I came up here to do. <laughs> Man, come to fish. You've been doing real good. We're on Dale Hollow Lake out of uh, Horse Creek Dock. Just left Mr. Jack Huddleston up that way. And anyway, we're gonna try to catch some smallmouth. You've been having great success, right? Yes, we have. Really have. Been catching a lot of smallmouth and a lot of quality smallmouth. Uh, in fact, the average has been almost three pounds. And of course, we'll probably catch a bunch of pounders this trip. You think Smith can catch one? I doubt it very seriously. I do too. Yeah. But anyway, let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Well, How about you? what I'm thinking about it is, I, I'm wondering when you're going to thank me for handing you the rod. Well, I, think, uh, huh? I think you're right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, I don't know. He's in the water. For he, does, he's, he's, he does not want to get in the boat. Nice small man. Get that wide whirly bee. Well, I wish you get him up. <laughs> I don't think he can, dude. Well, you're going to get a good glimpse. There's a glimpse. There's a glimpse. Oh, man. Yeah, boy. That's, what you love. That what That's you a love. solid That's three, pound, three pound fish. And when you get him in, let me do my little trick with him. Oh, yeah. <coughs> that looks is it pretty or is it pretty? That's, that's a she fish. Here, that's pretty. Yes, that's beautiful. Oh, is it way? How much does it weigh? I don't believe it will. But you may be right. Well, we're going to find out. All right, let's put the, put the scales to it. <coughs> We had one the other day, weighed three five, that would not measure, and then we had one three three that did. So <laughs> you can't. Tell us about that legal limit. Well, the legal limit is 18 inches, and you can have two fish a day. This one doesn't make the legal limit. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right. Two pounds, 14 ounces. 214. Watch his boat. Yep. You got him? I got him. Put him on board if you want to right there. I've got it laid out. A three pound fish, almost three pounds. Yep. And, he, and I got to throw him back. That's right. Put it back in the water. He was seven, he's 17 inches long. You want to borrow my hatchet for the tears? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> 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 now, Jimmy, when is it that you generally make him put his pole up? Right now. One more fish. Well, he hadn't caught, he's already caught one, and I'm sick of him. <laughs> Good gracious <laughs> sake to lie. Oh, man. All right. Guy, do you want to get that for me? Yes, sir, I'll, I'll be glad to. Get him in there, Smith. Well, he'll bite you. Yeah, let, let him bite him. He'll bite me. He'll bite you. Ah. Oh, yes. That a boy, Dave. Now, that one might weigh three, since I caught him. Oh, well, that's hey, that, hey, that ain't no bigger than mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a belly. Oh, he's a whole lot bigger fish. You got no. bigger fish. Oh, he's a whole lot bigger fish. No, shoot, no. That's a bigger oh, yeah. fish than yours. Oh, yeah. bull. Well, right. hand me the scales down there, unless you settle it. That's right. Get the scales. 17 inches. 17, 17 inches. inches. Where's the scale? Right here. Put him on there. Let's put him up there. Let's find out. Man, don't tell me we got to throw this one back, too. Every fish goes back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Let, wait a minute. You, got, you let him down too quick. Pick it back up. Okay. Put it away. He's not bigger than mine. Wait a minute. It really ain't. 
breaks my heart. Two oh, thir I'm... two thirteen. I missed him two by now. Missed him by now. Well, I'll get one here, Peter. <laughs> you bet on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You bet on that. That's pretty. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That boy, Dave. There you go. Hit that whirly beat. They like it. Man, they love it. Don't bluff. like it or something. He's not that big a fish, really. There he is. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Now, you don't want to measure that, do you? Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 Close. It'd be close. What have I got to be? 214? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that ought to be a chip shot. Somebody reach him. That'd be somebody's side of Glenn, because he'll knock him off. <laughs> no, I wouldn't knock him off, Dave. How about that? What have I got you there, Bubba? Come right there. Uh, God, how about oh, that? Oh, now? All right. Got right off of that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Quick release. Quick release. How about that? Well, uh, what can I say? Don't tell me that doesn't count. Whoa. That's a good fish, That's huh? a dandy if fish he pulls right there. Off, I'm, I'm please don't pull off, speed, babe. Huh? Please. Don't pull off there. No way. Please, yeah. no. That's the one I might have to get my camera out on. That's right. Oh, he's pulling. Son, they just push over, don't they? Yeah. He ain't got no strength at all. I guarantee you, no. <laughs> no, coming they ain't got no bit. strength. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Coming up. Coming, coming up. up right here. Oh, look out, look out. Right out there, man. He's coming, coming, he coming right now, right now. That's about five pounds of belly. Maybe way five. Maybe way old four. But, yeah. Pretty thing. I told you this point was bad. This point is bad. And this dude that lived here was bad. Yes, he was bad. Coming up again. He doesn't know it, but he's still going to get to stay right here. Well, I tell you what, there's nothing that fights like a small I'm mouth bass. Well, yeah, and on four pound test line. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yes. But that's what, why, why are you fishing four pound, Dave? Oh, you're going to get more strikes, I guarantee you are. I mean, in this clear water, it's less visible to the fish, and you're just going to get more strikes on four pound test line. You'd get even more strikes on two, but you wouldn't land many of them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, four will produce many, many more All strikes. that rascal is something else. He's bad. Oh, that's nice. Small Look mouth at that, that small mouth. That's after. pretty fish there. When you can see him that down that deep, yeah. he left the swim. Fish. Man, 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 come on here. Get up here and let me uh, hold you in my hand just for a minute. Oh, oh boy, what a fight. Get off my that boat. He likes that But shade, you can't though. horse fish on, on, on four oh, pound test. There he is. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. I give you the honors. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, now, Smith, I believe that'll. Hey, Mr. Lee. That you might take the tunnel turn? right there. Huh? Look at that, right, had, him in the, had him in the right nostril, let the record show. Right nostril. Right nostril. See that right nostril? Yeah, I see his nose. Okay, isn't that a nice one? That, that's a beauty, baby. Where's the uh, scales? scales in the top of my bag back here. I caught this one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Just right over there off of that point. In the dip net. <laughs> yes, and he it did. Was very nice. It, uh, listen, he put up a fierce fight. You really? Yes, he really did. I thought you were never going to land him. I didn't think I'd ever get him. No. Anymore, you know. Dave, one thing about holes, he can't catch them, but he can sure net them. Yes, okay. he, he's, he's good at that. I'm one of the best netters you've ever seen. <laughs> see what this All right, right let's here. see what we got here. All right, now, hold on. Hold tight. What does it say? Hold tight. Four-pound 
two ounces. Four, yes. Two, four pound, two ounces. Right, yes. Now, he will measure, I'm sure. And he will measure positive. 18 pretty, inches. Pretty chunky. Just lay him down there on the flat, I think. Let's see. Let, let me lay him here where Smith and get a good shot I'm of this. Take him up. The fish got to be 18 inches, folks, here on 18. Dale Holler. He is. For you to keep. He is about 19 and a half, would you say? Yep. Let me see, you. Right there, Dad. That's an 18 inch ruler. Oh, yeah. Is that nice? Yes, it is. That is nice. <clears throat> Look at that belly. Whoops. Just hold on to him. I'm going to get a picture of him. Yeah, you got to get a picture of that fish. That's a picture fish. Oh, boy. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Nice, small here. Not as good what? as that four pounder. Not hardly. But a nice, small mouth. Dave, let me ask you something. How long has this 18 inch leg of length been on this lake? I think five years, Jimmy. Five I years. I, that's what somebody said. What do you think of that? Well, let me start at the start. I was kind of like you and some other people. I was very much against it. Because I felt like they were making a trophy lake for the dock owners up here. But. And I stayed away from it for three or four years, but I'm going to have to tell you, it's working. It's really working. Oh, yeah. yeah what but, we've seen. I mean, it is a playpen. Oh, really yeah. Is. Man knows how to catch smallmouth bass. This is the place. That's right. And there is a secret to catching them. And like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you using, you know, a little light whirly yeah. B, eighth ounce, and, and a four-pound test line, and the right reel, the right, right rod. Right. That's right. And the right approach, right technique. That's yeah. it. That's what it takes. Because yeah. this lake is so clear. So clear. Oh, they're pretty. Beautiful, Beautiful fish. Hughes has got another one. Oh, you got it right up there. I don't know whether I've got him. Did or you hook him in the mouth? Is he hooked in the mouth? He's not that big a fish. I thought he was a bigger fish. I thought he was bigger than that one. That's a dandy. I'm telling you what, this Dale Holler, 18 inches, something else. I, I, I'm beginning to agree with you. <laughs> if a man just likes to catch them and doesn't want to keep them, which I don't keep them anymore, this no, is the no place. No, no need to keep it fish this like this. This is the nice. place to be. Not that nice. Too good a fish. Where's he at? He's right he's here down in the water. Wait, he's well, right I know he's in the lake. water, but that looks like him, right? Ooh, that looks yeah. like him. Yeah. That looks just yeah. like him. Let me see. Let me get he's that net. Up. He's not a netting fish, isn't he? No, go ahead. We got him up there, though. You got him in there. Come here, sweet darling. Boy, he swallowed that thing. I mean, plumb down to his. Uh -huh. awesome. Dave, tell tell the folks about that whirly bee and Charlie Brewer and the crazy head. Well, company. you know, that's that's what the bait looks like. We've I'm been away. fishing this whirly bee for years. It's a it's a fine smallmouth bait, uh, and it'll catch everything else too. There's no question about it. But but it's been a great smallmouth bait for us. Uh, and just recently, I got to give credit where credit's due. I I didn't. Uh, uh, figure this out myself. Floyd Poindexter up at Gallatin uh, got to catching some fish up here. And a friend of mine, he told some people and, and owns the Poindexter bait shop, he told some people and one of those guys told me. And I came up here and uh, boy, I'm telling you, it's been fun and games. This is about my fourth or fifth trip and and uh, I've caught them just, well, in, in this is my fifth trip and I've caught uh, or we've caught in my boat 80 some odd smallmouth, if that'll tell you anything. Oh, that's And wonderful. all of them just about on this whirly bee. I've caught a few of them on the fly just to prove to them I could, but now really they're hitting the whirly bee better than. Uh, than uh, well, I'll tell you else. what, old Charlie Brewer has got two fine baits for smallmouth. Of course, you can catch a lot of largemouth on oh, that sure. old slider. On the slider, you can, yeah. But yes. I'll tell you yes. what, he's got two of the finest smallmouth baits, I guess, that's ever been made. And he, he used to. As he called it, his toy yeah. tackle, you know, yeah. and he fished the little short uh, five-foot rods with uh, light line and all, and just uh, really. And his and his uh, technique uh, with those baits is the same technique that that you and your brother yep. and, and I have used for years at Center Hill, and, and that is to throw it out there and just reel it back real slow and steady swim it out. swim it back to the boat, right. and. Uh, uh, Boy, it works. And the people, most people that come to Dale Hollow Lake, they'll they'll have tackle that is way too heavy. Yeah. To yeah. fish this lake, yeah. you got to have light tackle. Yeah. Well, we are fishing four-pound test. That's right, light tackle.
bunch of loons. The priest, a lot of them priest them. is loaded with them. Yeah, they're, they're here. They're big time here. That may be the one that was, that probably is, as a seagull. That may be the one that was running those minnows up there. Where are we going now? We're going to Galton Hollow. Galton Hollow. Yes, sir. Yeah. I have finally struck pay dirt. Yes, you have. Finally struck a little pay dirt. Where's he at? He's right here right on the there, boat jumping and raising. Oh, him. Yes, man. he is. Nice yeah, small he's, not, he's a fast, small job. He certainly is. I'll take them all day. Yes. That's it, right? All day long. That's on old Charlie's. That boy, that's a male fish. Look male how long fish. Yep. he is. Look son. at that. Yep. You see that thing. Yeah. But hey. That felt so good. Boy, it's been so long since I had a strike. He had that little ball peen hammer with him. Yes, he yeah. did. Look at Jimmy, he's showing signs of spawning. He's got a little yes, down there around his uh, animal fin there. Yep. He's got a uh, uh -huh. he's frayed. And look at his uh, fins on the side there. See how the, the one over on this right. other side's frayed a little bit. I don't yeah. know, but anyway. I don't know, it's kind of early. Smith, let's catch some more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, while he's doing that, reach up in his pocket and get that biscuit. I don't know, yeah. I don't know what he's got on here. He, oh, there he oh, went. Now, look at that sucker. Now's the time for us to steal that biscuit out of his pocket, and he won't let us you have You going to give us that biscuit? <laughs> huh? Well, I'll share it with you. Oh, oh, oh. Well, now he's changed his tune. Yeah. How about that? Got him on the slider worm. Yes. A slider? Yeah. Well, I ain't never. Well, you lost him, yeah, didn't well, you? Well, no, I just... You never did, uh... He's playing with it. How big is it? About three pounds. <laughs> what's, a, what's a funny? In three another pounds. year and a half, he will weigh three pounds. That's true. You're yeah. right. Thank you. With your hand in his mouth, it will. Yeah, put him right up here real close. That a boy. Boy, he's a whopper. All right. You can draw him back now and show the actual size. <laughs> Thank you very much. Man, I've had to put up with this all day. Oh, oh look at how he is. Look at he is. Oh, my goodness. He sees that old boat. They don't like that boat. They do don't like that dark place up under it. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Look at it. He's struggling down there. What he weigh? He's about eight pounds. Yeah, he's somewhere a little less than eight pounds. A little less than eight. Look at it. There he's playing right there, see? Yeah, I see. Ain't he pretty? Look at that. Oh, he tried to walk on that wall, didn't he? He tried to walk around there a little bit, but he's pretty. And as old Mr. Hughes says, that four pound test. He is not only pretty, he is now captured. Puts him in the boat. He has been captured. Yep, he's been caught. Yeah, Joe. Oh, oh pretty. pretty. Oh, Stripes man. on his head. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Wow. Will he measure? He'll measure about 25 inches. Uh -huh. No, oh, that fish ain't gonna be nowhere near. It's somewhere less than 25 inches. What, he's about 16, 17, yeah. maybe? About 14. Whatever. 14. Less than eight pounds. You ain't ever seen a fish that big? Well, I, what do you mean? When have you ever seen a fish that big? I caught that last night. Caught. He's been caught before, and he got a place on his jaw up or up or on his right. Well, right here. Yeah, looks got, like it. He got that. He's going home. Get back over where he came from, fellas. Jack Huddleston, Horse Creek Dock. I'm gonna tell you what. How many years been since I've been up here? It has been about uh, 18 years, probably. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. You know, right after. Something happened in Nashville there, and they passed this regulation mm -hmm. on 18 inches. I called you, and I was upset. You remember that? Yep, I sure do. Well, I'll tell you what. I've been up here with Mr. Hughes. Dave uh, called me, and we were talking about Dale Holler. And he, he sort of felt the same way back in those days. A lot of people did. And he told me, he said, Jimmy said, I'll tell you what. He said, you know, I was upset. And he said, after I'd been fishing, I said, man, said, Telling you what, their quality fish up there now and said it's working. And I'm telling you, Dale Holler has got the finest smallmouth fishing in the world, I guess. Jimmy, once a year I have a smallmouth tournament, a day and a half, and it got down to where a 10 pound of fish would win that with two men in a boat. 
And last year, it takes 30 pounds to win now. I'm going to tell you, I, I can see how and why, because it's it's super. And, of course, Dave there, he, I know how he loves smallmouth fishing, and, and I got I got some uh, rumors, hearing rumors about Dave catching these smallmouth. I said, I'm going to call that rascal myself. And I told old Kimbrough, and uh, he got in touch with you, I think, or he talked to you, I know. Yeah, he did. But anyway, I appreciate it. There's not a finer host on Dale Isle Lake than Horse Creek Dock. Well, thanks. And, I, hey, I, I weighed uh, three fish over five pounds, one over fish Dave caught here a couple of days about a month oh, I ago. Oh, he's, he's been telling me about it, making me cry. He's even got them named out there now. <laughs> I know he has. I know he has. I want to thank you, my friend. We come back any time. Oh, I'm going to. I'll be back if Mr. Thank Davis you, come up. We'll just have a great time. And be sure and tell that uh, Mr. Billy Westmoreland we were up here and said hello. Okay. Please do. I will do. We're going back to the studio. See you there. Hey, hope you enjoyed that. We had a great time up there with Dave, and that's sure wonderful is. fishing and just really great.